Okay, I'm gonna show you how to polish a cast golf club. So this is a Wilson D7 iron. I bought a set from eBay, and this is generally how they look when you buy things used on eBay. It's in pretty good condition, but it's not shiny by any means. And so, uh, since they're new to me, I'm gonna make them look new. Um, the reason why they're not shiny is because of all of these different scratches. And scratches are actually good when you're polishing metal, but not these scratches. So what I mean by that is you'll see that they kind of go in a bunch of different directions. Um, there's a lot of swirls, there's straight lines, there's just a bunch of randomness to these scratches. What that does is when light shines on it, it actually dissipates the light. So dissipate means it means the light hits it and it's just going to go in all these different random directions. To make things shiny and reflective, we want them uh, very sort of uniform, the scratches. What I mean by that is if we have very straight lines uh, going this way and this way and a very smooth, flat top, you can take something that looks like this and turn it into this. So these are some, um, some of the irons that I've already worked on. You can tell they look brand new. You can see my reflection in this club. So we're gonna take these clubs and we're gonna make them look like this club. Now how do you do that is you have to sand it. Sanding sucks by hand, so we're gonna use power tools. So how we do this is, is when you normally sand things to a very high uh, glossy shine, you take various grits of sandpaper starting from the most coarse, and then you change direction and you use something a little more fine, you go in this direction, and you use something a little more fine, you go in this direction, and a little more fine, we go in this direction. Well, because I have a bench grinder over there with some polishing wheels, I can do that very, very rapidly. So I can do things like this is a very coarse material. I have this chart here that shows you exactly which um, polishing compounds to use. This is actually a, uh, a stainless steel uh, golf club. So it says to use the black emery for very coarse. Uh, we can use brown, triple E, then white, and then we'll finish it with a green. I'm sorry, you can see that. Anyways, you can see the colors here. So this is in the most extreme cases when you have a lot of scratches like on the sole here, right where the um, the club or the sole of the club hits the ground. That might be a, a case for something like a like the black emery. But the, normally you can just start with the brown, then the white, uh, alternating the direction that we're going to polish these things, and then we're going to finish it off with this. This is actually just add some color to it to make it bring out the shine so that it looks like that i mean that looks incredible denim wheel and we're going to use that to get out all the scratches and then this is a loose cotton wheel it's dirty but it's still fluffy um, and then what you do is as this is rotating you will touch the uh the compound to the wheel while it's rotating and it actually loads up like a paintbrush with that compound and so that's what you use to, to ultimately sort of sand the club in the different directions. Less is more on the compound, so we would rather reload it more often than load up a bunch of it because it's just gonna leave a waxy mess all over it. And this is just a crappy Harbor Freight grinder that I got. It's a um, six inch grinder. And then I bought these extenders. These are Arbor extenders. I got these on Amazon. I think they were $15. You don't need those. You could just shove these onto the end of your, your bench grinder. So let's do a few things first. So I've already washed them because you don't want any sand and things on there. Let's select one to do. I was thinking about doing the gap wedge because it does have a lot of scratches on it and I thought that would be interesting to see uh, or show you how you can get all these scratches out. But the face was too nice and I want to do something um, a little more challenging in terms of having um, a lot of scratches on the face. You can see that. There's actually there's some nice little slice that someone did on a freaking pitching wedge. Um, and, you know, it generally kind of looks like this. Uh, not great. You'll see all those little scratches there. But, man, these are, these are gameable irons, man. So let's make these look like these. And then we'll throw them in the golf bag. And, um, yeah, when that snow melts, we're going to play these. So let's do it.
There it is. Turned out pretty good. What's in the bag? All right, let's do a side by side. So we saw that those were similar condition, right? That's the condition of it before we started. And that's what it looks like now.